Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a long overdue episode of Poker Life India. Today we are going to talk about how safe is online poker, especially in India, and a few developments from the week. So let's jump on it. Let's start with the obvious advantages of online poker. It's accessibility; you can play from anywhere. The lack of live options in India. Live poker is not legal. The rake is pretty competitive. We'll get back to that later. And also, the online offers a great player pool which you can't otherwise hustle very easily in a live scene however there are a lot of noticeable disadvantages primarily in india online poker is fairly unregulated um there is no central authority overseeing rng or other factors and the sites are independently responsible for maintaining fair play and obviously all of you must have heard about the events of black fight in the usa and not to mention recently a lot of malpractices galore have come up on the ipa and tpg groups with many known figures going in for multi accounting and also some video evidence of ghosting and collusion happening on a pretty big scale so how safe is it for you to play online poker Surprisingly um regarding multi accounting there was another very known site uh where as you can see there was a message sent out to all the users that you have a multi account and get back to us and let us know which one it is and th- those were two sister sites running together trying to get a bigger pool um i don't know what to say but it almost seems like an admission to this was an open thing and there was follow up whether you wanted to close a or b account and once you get back to them you still get promotional messages for that so it really does make you think that in the race for higher gtds and competitiveness how much of it is fair play is there a way forward for this are these solutions well there there is a post which i came across from sahil agarwal on tpg where he did put up some very good uh, ways we could prevent that freezing account of ghosters no access to anyone with backend ids detection of screen sharing software having a kyc done at the time of sign up and not at the time of withdrawal so and obviously geo positioning there were and shutting down anonymous tables so all very good suggestions and i hope sites to implement this and you know um even regarding the sites we were talking about who had two sister sites running and they had sent an uh, um warning for multi accounts we got in touch and we asked them hey man uh why are you doing this why did you have two sites to make a bigger pool gtd why were you almost legitimately you know having accounts open and the fact that you send a message to everyone kind of says it and this is what they had to say dada why why dada why this why? is business this is my swag i know but i did business shut up shut up <laughs> this is business hey. i invested the money stop talking i will kill you sorry sorry sir hey Dada, huh? why? Business. Oh. Anywho, moving on. Uh, so one of the sites which I do personally prefer, and I'll tell you why I prefer to play, is PokerStar. So I have had a good uh, experience with them. The UI is great, the team is great, and instances where I have um, reported chip dumping or suspected chip dumping, they have a very active team that takes into it. Their login protocols are more secure. They have a RSA token system. so all pretty good stuff and um that gives you a sense of security that's very much important i think that surpasses everything in terms of say uh, that is the most important factor security it's more than ui it's important more important than player pools and how soft the field is i think safety and security comes first i mean just uh, <laughs> look at this uh, meme i came across from bajaj sahab from the ipb page and this video kind of says it all what people think about poker stars in terms of security And since we are anyway talking about poker stars, let's talk about every poker stars nemesis, rake. If the rake is too high, it's actually better if the pros aren't playing. It's actually better if the shit loaded rake. It's actually better. Ten bucks a hand blackjack. It's actually better. All right, that was a fun video, and uh, Dark Poke choked the hell out of it, and Negrano had a hard time. But the point we're coming to is rake revisions. uh following what nine stacks has said even pokerstars has jumped in the fray and offered a very very competitive 
rake, rake structure. Caps have also been lowered. And I would like to give a shout out here to one of the active members uh, of the poker community in India, Chinu Madan. Chinu, this is your day to shine, man. It's a little late. But uh, Chinu was the first one who came up with a competitive graph. Uh, across all sites about what kind of rake is being offered and he did a good, hell of a job and even compared it to what the rake was in live casinos and there were companies including poker stars who heard him out and the rake was slashed big win for the po- uh, for the poker community so yeah these are the revised rates as you can see you must have come across it last week safe and secure place good rake um that's where i'm going to be playing so that was all for me uh, about online poker and what you guys should be careful of do let me know what you thought of it of this new format and play safe guys and run well <laughs>